Welcome back everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Space Crew Blind. We've just uh, upgraded some stuff, we've got a better oxygen generator, a better reactor that we've upgraded last time, so it's pretty nice. Explore beta quadrant, oh and eliminate champion as well, we picked up reports of phasma champion Anga Haka near Hades. Uh, Hades, this might might be our uh, best chance to take them out once and for all. That's a cool looking ship. Also a dangerous looking ship. We've already um, met him, of course. Oh, we've never taken down Warp Kib. Anga Hake pilots an extra tough phasma to heavy fighter, complete with a charging plasma lens. Yeah, we've seen that. It never hit us, thankfully. It does take a while to recharge, and if we change direction, it does uh, quite often miss. Although little is known about Phasmic societal structure, our researchers believe that Angahaka is of uh, is of a noble or elevated lineage within the Phasmid species. Okay, so let's uh, definitely eliminate the champion. Ten thousand credits and one thousand research. Those credits are gonna come in handy. I mean, stuff is really expensive, but that is uh, that is lovely. Okay, so as per usual, uh, let's get our stuff. Um. Forward to engines, and you can get back. And we'll uh, disable gravity here. And put more into shields. Because that's quite nice. Lovely. Alright, let's launch. Whoosh. Okay. Off we go to STS Spiral Arm Accretion. Again. Okay. So this should be good, if we take down the champion so he doesn't bother us in other missions. Charging for hyperjump. Engage. Whoosh. Going to the black hole again, it seems. Uh, no, not quite there, though. Incoming. Now, I'm not gonna use the performance analysis here, because I want to keep it for uh, when we actually fight the champion. And all the other stuff we'll be fighting. <laughs> okay, where are they coming from? Right from there. That's good. And we're already firing. I like that. And they're coming straight for us, which is the best place to try and get them down. There's already one. There's gonna be... Almost. Come on. I still have shields there. There's two. Get him. Don't miss. Come on. Shield restored. There's another explosion there. There's more of them coming. Are they the interceptors? No, I think they're the normal, normal ones. Boom. We're out of shields, but that's fine for now. Let's go into defensive now, because we're at our destination. And that one's about to go. There we go. <laughs> Because all those missiles. Nice. That was good. That was very. Oh, wait a second. There's more stuff coming. There's a transport there as well. Anything else on the radar? No. There's one. Get that one. He's right there. Come on. Yeah, lovely. Let's see if the missiles will act. No, they don't. They don't seem to turn around 180 and go back for them. Uh, yeah, no. They seem to get one shot. <laughs> lovely. All right, that was very good, actually. And now for the big fight. We've got fighter support. We've got cruiser support. Everything is on is off cooldown, so that's excellent. Look at this place, that looks really cool. Come on, music. I like that creepy music. Hey, these are close. Whoop. Again uh, thou comest against me with your monster screw. Thou art bold but foolhardy, prepare to meet thy doom. Alright, so performance analysis. Folks fire please. Get fighter and cruiser support. Let's have some overdrive as well. 
Nice. Nice. So focus in overdrive here as well. I think he's about to go. Ah, darn it. Come on. Oh, there's a lot more coming. Everyone focus fire, please. He's almost down. Come on. There we go. There we go. Oops. Our ear is getting pounded. And for some reason, this stuff was not tagged. No, this abominable captain, the arms of all godly, uh, goodly warriors shall be raised against thee. Come on. Get more stuff. We got him. Aye, a killing blow struck by the weapon of fiendish abominations. You may be sure, foul creatures, that my kindred will avenge me. <laughs> Shame there's so much stuff going on in the meantime. I can't really enjoy the text so much. Oh, yeah. Of course, they're fleeing now. I wanted to take him out! Well, performance analysis was used to full effect, I suppose. Retreating to refuel. They did seem to hit our back a few times without shields, but... Disengaging from combat. Doesn't seem like they're really doing much. Charging for hyperjump. Power diverted to engines. Push! Retreating to refuel. She's a bit, uh, I don't know, surprised or something. Ah, what is that? <clears throat> There's a dropped cargo pod central uh, of essential resources in your current sector. If you can get them back to base, it would mean a few extra credits. Oh, excellent. We need extra credits. If it would be research as well, it would be nice as well. But I I'm guessing this one is just credits. I do like how they're... Uh, you know, making things interesting by sometimes giving you this stuff, sometimes not. Sometimes it's research, sometimes credits. The last one we picked up was actually starting fires aboard the ship. I mean, that's pretty awesome. Okay, if we go over there. We're gonna pull it in. Let's see. <laughs> There's Nade Noob. I like the, um... I like the, uh, um... Not FOV, uh, what's that called? Ah, <sighs> when stuff close by, it gets blurred and so on. We're far away. Can't remember. <laughs> oh, that doesn't look like Phasmid stuff. It's interesting. And of course, we're getting enemies now. Okay, good. Good, good, good. So where are they? What the heck was that? Oh! Careful, it looks as though... Uh, the pot has been hijacked. Wow, okay. That was interesting. <laughs> Little bastards. Okay, get back. That was quite interesting. Unfortunately, no extra... Um, credits. I'm guessing we'll still get some good stuff. That was cool. I like how they're keeping us on our toes like that. Focus fire, please. Nice. Oh, look at that stuff. Look at their armor falling off. That's so cool. Yeah, because they got armor at the front. You see that? Ow, 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 yogurt. Let's get some shields, please. Oh, we already have shields now. Oh, well. And we've got stuff coming in. Uh, no auto tag yet. Wait, I thought we had auto tag. Whoa, we're taking them down. Really quickly. Um. Of course, I forgot defensive. I thought we had auto tag already. But I guess not. There's a lot of stuff here. Oh yeah, let's have some performance analysis, we, which we cannot do because it's not ready yet. <laughs> Bang. 
You know what? Everyone can focus fire because uh, then we just go home. Nice. That was 400 XP without performance analysis. Very nice. That was good. That was cool, that little pod. Oh, wow, and that is actually damaged now. Yeah, that was, that was cool. Man, Nate New repairs things so fast now. It's nice. And there we go. Back home. I wonder if that uh, will actually give us any extra credits or not. I'm guessing not. Well, actually, no. I'm guessing it will give us a little bit. But I cannot be sure. It was pretty cool, though. I like that, that you never know what truly to expect. Those missiles look so dangerous. Alright. Ah, Angahake destroyed 10,000 credits. Investigate a uh, uh, cargo pot? Yep, 1,000 credits. That's not bad. I would rather have research, to be honest, but hey, that's not bad. Okay, no new levels. Armored boots, Mark Three. Okay, I suppose we can give him that. We've just gotten some more armored gloves, so now I suppose we can give him armored boots as well. Mark Three. They're just slightly more, uh, slightly slower, but a lot more armored. These improved heavily armored boots provide good protection at the expense of mobility. Yeah, they're, um, they're actually really good. Look at that. The speed goes down by one, but the armor goes up by ten. Really nice. And of course, I cannot really get rid of the uh, magnetic boots, because they are just fantastic. However, I think we'll be getting newer ones here. Yep, power gravity boots. Nice. <gasps> Power gravity boots, look at that, they're gonna be even faster and armored. Oh, that's gonna be nice. Alright. More missions. Let's investigate the Omwa. An unusual object. I want to investigate this. Alright, off you go. Let's have uh engines. And shields. Oh yeah, you can get that. Doesn't matter if you'll be floating. And we go. You go with you go. <laughs> Incredibly, a navigation probe has detected an extrasolar object which passed through our solar system around 150 years ago. Let's go for the fastest route, not the safest. It should be impossible to encounter in this, uh, it in this region of space. There must be some phasmid influence at work. That is uh, quite suspicious. And the object looked cool. It looked like an elongated asteroid, but I'm pretty sure it's some kind of a... Maybe it's a phasmid probe. I'm pretty sure it's a phasmid probe, you know? <clears throat> Increased enemy activity. Oh yeah, because, well, we went for the danger dangerous route. Uh, I'm just waiting for Agile Engines Mark 3. Or wait, Mark 2. These are Mark 1, I believe, right? Alright. Where are they coming from? And uh, that way. Okay, where's the rest of them? Because I know there's going to be more. Not yet. Look at that one. They, they look really cool. See, that one's a normal one. And these ones have another cannon down there. Ouch, 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 ouch. Oh, there's more coming. Wait, where? Um... There's more. Where was it? Lots of big guys. You know what? Why not? Performance analysis. And let's call for some cruiser support, because it's mostly just big guys here. Checking in and joining combat. Boom! Where is the cruiser? Um, should be down. No. Oh, it's all the way over there. What, from Athena Station? It's not gonna help us that much. Nice. Also, performance analysis is quite worth it. There we go, there they are. 
Come on, more enemies. Are there more enemies? I think I saw something. No. Yep, there we go. Some of the beam fighters. So we don't... It, it's nice that we get more so we don't waste the uh, cruiser support. I always feel like we waste the abilities if, you know, there's nothing else to shoot at. Yeah, these beam fighters, they can be quite dangerous, but fortunately aren't that difficult to destroy. Because they're slower, much slower than those interceptor fighters. Or intercept... Oh! Interceptors. And, um, yeah. They're beefier, but much easier to destroy. I mean, to hit, that is. So let's see, cruiser support, yeah, we used about two-thirds of it, I suppose. Well, that's good. It seems to follow us in sort of a formation. All right. Is it going to follow us all the way there? That would be cool, but I seriously doubt it. I've never used inspirational speech yet. We should do that. Hades. Speech to the crew, motivating them back to good health and recharging some abilities. Hmm. And of course, the cruiser is not with us anymore. Yeah. Shame. But, oh well. What can you do? That looks so cool. I like the glow. Okay, where were they? Yes! Missile side. I like it. Boom, boom, boom. That one's almost dead. Come on, get that one. There we go. Lovely. Let's see. Nothing else on the radar at the moment. But there will be. Nice. And there's one. I mean, a group. Let's go to defensive. So we'll get more uh, evasion. Our shields are at 100%. There's the missiles going for the transport. Oh, they're all missed. Come on. It would be nice to get the transport. Oh, seriously? Come on. I don't want the transport to actually dock with us. Oh, he's getting the hole with the explosive cannon. I wanted to say that should... Oh, nice. That should do quick work of him, but... Uh, no. Where are they? Oh. I'm looking at the... There they are. Don't forget to tag enemy fighters. Any more transports? I think there's two transports over there. Man, this game is so much fun. Get him! Shields are gone. Yeah, get the transports, please. Alright. Focus fire, please. And overdrive, because I want these gone. No, get these. Yep. There you go. There we go. Lovely. And I think that is going to be it in this sector. Shields restored. Man, they're <laughs> lovely. Lovely jubbly. And that, they should make quick work of that one. See, let's just go for the objective here. So we stop moving. It's going to be easier to hit. Or I, should, I could just uh, click patrol. So we go in a straight line. Nice. That's very nice. Do we have any scuff marks? I don't think we do. It was kind of a lot easier to judge uh, the damage in Bomber Crew because they actually made holes. Here it's just scuff marks here and there. And of course you get this, but, you know. Alright. The armor seems to be... Oh yeah, there are some scuff marks back here. Oh, look at that! Oh, that's so cool! It's an asteroid on which they put probes on. That's so cool. Enemies incoming. Omuamuamuamuamuamuamuamuamuamuamuamuamuamuamuamuamuamuamuamuamuamuamuamuamuamuamuamuamuamuamuamuamuamuamuamuamuamuamuamuamuamuamuamuamuamuamuamuamuam
Not moving. There we go. Looks like Phasmids have set up several uh, ore refinery facilities on Oumuamuamua. They're using it as mobile resources mine. Uh, uh, destroy the... Uh, blah, blah. Wasn't... Uh, just trying to pay attention to all the rust, rest of the stuff. Jeez. How about we do some defensive piloting and uh, do performance analysis and call some fighter support and cruiser support will be available in just a moment. So why... Why would we have seen the same thing in our solar system 150 years ago? This type of asteroid. I, I was... I really thought it would be some kind of a... Probe they would attach to it, but maybe we will find some special materials here that will aid us in the war. Let's have some focus fire on everything. Why not? Focus fire here, I feel, in this game seems to be a lot less important, uh, ouch, than it is in Bomber Crew. Oh wow, you still have focus fire for a long time. I'm not going to take you off the station. Because in, you know, there, things were very quick to be destroyed and they could destroy you very quickly. But here, everything is more of a bullet sponge. So, um, I don't know. Using weapon focus doesn't seem to be that much. What the heck is that? Also doesn't seem to be that much of an issue because, uh... Is that like a mine? Uh-oh. Uh-oh! It is a mine layer of some sort. Whoa, 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 whoa! Um... Uh, base of piloting! Whatever that is! I think they're... Get them all! <laughs> Get away! I don't know what they are! Um... Cruise support, please! Oh, they're going away. They lost power or whatever. No, no, no! Oh, oh no, they're going back to it! Get that thing! Whatever it is! It's coming back! Uh, can you guys please shoot that thing? Thank you. There you go, come on. Uh-oh. I have no idea what those things are. And I, I'm not about to find out. Oh no, they're, they're shooting us. I see. Okay. So they're little turrets. I thought they wanted to uh, either get on our ship or their mines, but no, they're, they're beam turrets. Interesting. They don't seem to be doing that much damage, though. Quite annoying, because it's very difficult to hit them. I suppose I should not be tagging them. Oh, the missiles are doing short work on them, though. And so are the turrets. Um, oh, I forgot what I was talking about. I think that cruiser helped as well. Right, how about you... We actually go there and destroy those things. Focus fire is ready to use. Okay. Risk of fire. Radiation. That's quite interesting. Cruiser is still there. So let's go into the other side and destroy the refinery pods. Yeah, I'm guessing we're just gonna fly around it. Um, okay, just, just fly around it, loco, just, yep, yep, there you go, lovely, returning to base, there he goes, you guys are missing that thing now, come on, <laughs> nice, great job crew, head back to Athena for your next assignment, that was lovely. Oh, wait. Oh, that's... It's it's detecting the Oumuamuamuamuamua as, uh, as an enemy. I suppose. Well, that was quite an interesting mission. I really like this because... One of the things in Bomber Crew, now that I've been replaying it a little bit... I mean, 
it is a lot of fun and such but every mission is pretty much the same here yeah there's still a lot of the same but it does give you oh oh oh, oh. It does give you a uh, variation. There's a uh, there's a dropped cargo pod of essential resources in your current sector. Hmm. Yeah, we know how that went last time. Um. You know. I don't know. It's, there is a lot more variation here. I feel. Um. Because in bomber crew, yeah, sure. Um. You know, you had different targets, and sometimes you had flak and such, and different fighters. But here, you've got all of that. Well, mine is the flak, I suppose. But you also have cool stuff, like these motherships and black holes and this and that. Go for the fastest route, of course. So, is this gonna go whoop again? Not at the moment, it seems. I'm sure it will when we get closer. Enemies are coming. I'm sure they wait for the best time to attack. I'm looking at the pods. I could do it like this and just press shift every now and then. Let's trans... Oh no, it's one of those again. And more. Do some performance analysis and fighter support when it's available. Destroyed enemy fighter. There they are. I'm not gonna tag them. I'm gonna ignore them and just try to get the big. What the heck is that? <coughs> oh, excuse me. <laughs> that was part of its armor. That's what it was. Uh, there was something else on the radar I haven't tagged, I felt. Yeah, see, the uh, those little turrets are already gone because we destroyed. Oh, there we go. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> nice, it's a good thing I did performance analysis and called for support. How about we do some focus fire despite the fact that, well... I mostly just do it whenever now. It's not that calculated anymore. Ouch. What are you trying to hack? They always try to hack the gravity generator. It really doesn't work for us, dude. Nice. Look at all that extra XP. 16,000 already. I feel like music is in... Oh, that was it. Wow. So how's our stuff doing? No, this one seems to really be... What are you doing? Oh yeah, you've got fighter support and performance analysis still. Yeah, this one really seems to be uh, extra resources. I don't mind it. I don't mind it at all. Nice. Charging for a hyper jump. Yeah, this is just uh, an even better bomber crew type game. You know, that's actually something I was thinking uh, yesterday. So we had bomber crew in World War II. We have space crew here in, you know, the future in space. I think after whatever DLC and such they will do for this game, I'm honestly thinking they will do a submarine crew. Either World War II or it's going to be something sci-fi or maybe like a steampunk one. Because... Oh, there's more stuff. Where is it? I'm really thinking it's going to be a submarine crew because it's going to be a different environment again uh, with the with similar mechanics. Ouch! 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 Ow. Oh, we're losing armor now. It's us losing armor this time around. Come on, whoosh! Um, yeah, you know you can you can have a crew again in a submarine. They can walk around. There's gonna be a mechanic again, which you have to be careful about. So you have you need oxygen if you know you you can have flooding. Um, you'll be able to upgrade your submarine with better propellers and engines and this stuff and that stuff. Um, I honestly think that would be the right direction to go. It would allow them to do the same kind of stuff, but in a different environment. 
uh, and it would still be a lot of fun, I feel. I just don't know what they would go for. Would it be World War II, which I kind of doubt because they, they've done that with Bomber Crew already. Would they do it in sci-fi? Possibly. Or would they go for something completely different, like cyber, uh, not cyberpunk, like um, steampunk type of stuff? I don't know. But I honestly think it's going to be something like a... Whoa, 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 whoa. Something like a submarine crew. And I would gobble that stuff up. I mean, Runner Duck is doing... Oh, yeah, I wasn't even on defensive. Runner Duck is doing an excellent job with these games, I feel. So, yeah. Again, huge thanks to Dr. Loco for uh, gifting me this. Whoosh. There we go. That was another successful mission. And this time, let's see how much we got from that resource thing. I'm guessing it's still going to be 1,000 credits. But just no uh, enemies. Let's see. No, 1,500 credits this time around. There's a bit more space because there wasn't aliens in there. <laughs> Whoosh. Oh, yes. Level 10 piloting. Nice weapon boost. Okay. Well, thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this. Holy moly, look at that guy. <laughs> Ancient object oh, whoa, 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 revealed to be archaic phasmid outpost. Yeah, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.